how you do under pressure, oh Yeah, I've been wanted this shit forever I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better okay. hey. Hello and welcome to a new episode This uh, episode will be a bit different from the others maybe A little bit more vloggish uh, I am uh, going to bring you guys for a full week of training so uh, it is Monday afternoon or evening it's uh, 15 minutes to 8 in the evening uh, I've been super busy with uh, editing and uploading the video uh, from last week the swimming which uh, launched just now uh, and work and everything so I am finally ready to hit the gym and I am exhausted because I was up until one o'clock in the night had very little sleep but uh, this is the time when you when you really just gotta get to work for so many years I have uh, had the excuse to not go to the gym in a situation like this I'm tired I don't want to oh you know all the the excuses yeah it's just crush them and throw them away and get to the gym um, I'm 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 really working on my discipline uh, and last week was a shitty week mentally for me like I said before, I've been uh, struggling a lot with my mental health uh, for many years, and and uh, last week was was uh, like a dip. It always goes up and down, and you know, in the winter of Sweden, we don't have a lot of sun, so it's easy to get a little bit depressed. I'm I'm back up again, and I'm I'm feeling. Uh, feeling some energy now two days with sun so it's good what I wanted to say is the one of the reasons with this journey for me is to be working on my discipline to just be more dedicated to what I promised myself to do what I've said to do because every time you say to yourself yeah I'm gonna do this uh, I'm gonna go work out tonight and then you don't then you let yourself down every time you do that you actually feel you maybe don't feel it at the moment but you will feel more and more shitty about yourself um, at least that's how it works for me I, I just think it's so much fun to just stay healthy maybe because I've been living so unhealthy so <laughs> I'm like so hyped about it now but I enjoy every minute of it now we're at the gym we're going for some cycling and that's another thing you know now when I bought my bike of course I just want to go with the bike like all the time now but the weather isn't that good and I still haven't done a bike fit that will probably be an episode of its own uh, when I do the bike fit and because that's like a jungle I had no idea I was just like yeah you just set the bike how we want it but that's not how it works obviously so uh, that's gonna be an episode of its own um, until then I'm riding the bike at the gym so tonight's workout is 85 minutes bike plan is to go for to keep uh, on my lower threshold so between 150 to up to 180 maximum uh, watts and I'm trying to have a, an RPM on 90 40 minutes passed almost half the workout is done and this is how I make time fly YouTube 
and shout out to one of the best hello seek discomfort yes theory you're awesome makes these bike rides easier and trying to lay around 180 10 minutes left another great one Nick Bear if you haven't seen him go check him out he's super cool and this is what's new to me with like endurance I'm not used to it at all to just keep on going keep on going keep on going and and there he is. <sighs> oh, that was it. Feels good to be done. That was painful. Or just like hard. Felt almost, yeah, totally out of energy. So almost a bit nauseous. And this is way too late as well and my brain tried to convince me like 153 times to stop and go home earlier because i needed my sleep and whatever but finished like i told myself so it feels good now i just home and get some food in my belly before sleep all right we got a new day we're at Tuesday, maybe it looks like it's Tuesday morning, but it isn't. Uh, I came home from work uh, about five o'clock in the evening uh, and I've had some crazy headache this day. So I went straight to bed just to take a fast nap. Uh, <laughs> but I forgot to take my, uh, or put my uh, alarm clock on. So two and a half hours later, I just woke up, but the headache is gone. So that's good. I think I'll go for a run at the gym today. That's easiest. And then I can take some sauna afterwards. That will be perfect. I might have celebrated too early. The headache, the headache is back. But I actually, and I've had some itch in my throat and stuff. So I really hope that I won't catch some shit now because this weekend, me and Sixten is going for a really cool adventure. And I won't tell you yet what it is, but because you will come along and it will be a surprise. It's, uh, I can say this much, we're leaving Sweden and uh, going for a road trip. And uh, gonna do some really, really cool stuff and meet some really cool people. So I really don't want to catch anything now. i already been sick once. It was just for two, three days, but... Um, since I started this journey, so I just want to stay healthy and and work out as much as possible. Done with the run, feels really really good. I put the treadmill on 10 kilometers an hour and on that speed it feels like I can go on forever. It feels really nice feeling, at least it felt was that yesterday. And my headache is gone, so uh, today again a very late session. I normally keep it a lot earlier, but now when I'm filming and everything it's easier to go later and it's been busy at work and also the headache today and everything so now on, on the running it's more like focus on my technique. Sixten have given me some inputs and I'm running a little bit too much on my heel so I'm trying to land a little bit more flat or even a little bit up on my toes 
and he got given me some some uh, exercise or what to think of when I'm running. So I'm trying to focus on the technique instead. And uh, the plan, I think I think I might uh, make a whole video about running technique, and I will bring Sixten with me for them. That could be quite interesting. Seven kilometers, forty something minutes. Um, so easy run. Uh, so that's pretty much what we get out of this Tuesday, I guess. So tomorrow is Wednesday and it's swimming on the schedule. So uh, uh, I catch you, catch you tomorrow. Okay, it's Wednesday. I just finished off work. And as you know, it's time for swimming. But unfortunately i'm gonna skip that uh it really bothers me i really i really want to go uh and i hate skipping workouts but the headache has been crazy today as well and i have to listen to my body uh it's not just headache it it feels like i'm about to get a cold and yeah I just can't have that right now with this weekend coming up with Sixten and what we're going for. I might go to the sauna um, just to recover and try to get all that shit out of my system. Also there's another thing that I really want to bring up. The last video I posted just passed 1100 views which is the first video that passed 1,000 views and it did it within just two days. So I guess this is the first video that the YouTube algorithm favored me. So that's exciting and I'm really happy about it, of course. I, I wanna grow this channel and make a little community out of all of you guys. That would be so cool. Uh, and I mean, I want to spread the word and prove and show to everybody that nothing is impossible. If you just put your mind to it and, and, and really work for your goal, then you can do anything. Anything is possible, like the, like the Iron Man uh, slogan says. Yeah, so I'm not gonna gamble on this one. Uh, I, I, I mean, I can still get sick, but if I can, lower the risk for that one I, I will definitely so no swimming today and if I'm going for the sauna I will bring you guys over there as well because it's a really nice and cool place first off home and stuff my face with some food <laughs> and uh, start editing a little bit I see uh, how I feel and, and, and uh, then maybe go for some sauna so catch you up later this is the spot I was talking about, uh, the sauna place. So this is where I go for for some recovery. So you have this cool little spot and the sauna in here. And the best part is this. Now it's totally dark so you can't see, but you have the ocean all around here so it's pretty sick uh. today i will just go for for a short session just to sweat out a little bit just very very okay some guys been here just before so it's kind of yeah it's pretty hot, that's nice. So this is my new little favorite spot. Uh, so uh, I'll go for some, some relaxing and uh, hopefully I feel a lot better tomorrow and uh, I'll see you then, ciao. Alrighty. Alright. So 4 a.m. getting ready for a early swim session. You know how we triathletes work early mornings, late nights. That's how we do it. Baby. Yeah. 
no JK it's it's uh, 8 51 p.m. we're getting ready to uh, head over to the Netherlands for some uh, velodrome testing that's awesome yeah right I've been I've been looking forward for this for like uh, three weeks when you asked me if I could join yeah yeah and I've been looking forward to this for since like June I think oh, really <laughs> yeah <laughs> ever since they reached out I uh, I have been looking forward to doing some velodrome testing so uh, yeah. I'm really excited yeah super cool there she is I've been thinking about a name for her uh, and since we took a picture of uh, of uh, me with the uh, jellyfish fields yeah I asked uh, chat GPT for for some names related to Spongebob so maybe jellyfish jolt or bikini bottom breeze <laughs> Let us know in the comments what you want to think. <laughs> so let's uh, let's hit the road. Yeah. You see my highlights, they study my real. I'm showing all of this shit. Running more place than the scale of my business this year. The world in my palm, I'm a star. I deliver my cadence. I'm serving up chills to my peers. Bringing the breath of the fam. Everything good on his side, everything coming together. New whip, no leash, no key, they heat it. California on the plates. Okay, so it's 4.20 in the morning. I need coffee. coffee. And cleaning. <laughs> coffee and cleaning. So how are you feeling, Marcus? I'm fine. You're fine? How are you? I'm fine, loaded up with caffeine. Yeah. <laughs> I think we, we won't be, even if we would like to sleep, we couldn't fall asleep. No. Um, we are, we just passed Hamburg. Yeah. Like 50 minutes ago. So uh, we have four and a half hour yeah. left to go. Yeah. Something like that. So, so, yeah. And. You see, do we stay healthy, fit and healthy? Really healthy. Yeah, <laughs> it's a health trip. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hi, Rico. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. 